Hey guys, King Gath here with some mod news. Today we've got new add-on packs and tons of new individual building plans thanks to the Plotapalooza contest we held earlier this month. And of course, city plan contest news is always up on the 28th. So before we get into that, let's thank our patrons because you guys are amazing. You guys ensure those of us on the dev team don't have to dip into our pockets to cover all the costs that come up with developing things, with maintaining the community servers, our team servers, all the software subscriptions that everyone tries to nickel and dime you with these days, and you guys make it possible. So I'm going to shout out a handful of you today, and if you did sign up recently and you don't hear your name, don't worry, I will get you shouted out very soon because we are getting back onto our regular patch cycle now. All right, huge shout out and thanks to Grim Harlequin, Ryan Graham. It's Strong, Red Riding Hood, Arrow Hybrid, and Apocalypto. And uh, Apocalypto, you may have seen that name in-game because he actually wrote some of the small characters that the ROM lets you recruit. So you might see him in the credits on some of those. All right, let's get into the mod news. So first down, a huge congratulations to Kez Danny for taking down the February City Plan Contest with the build you see behind me now. And you can grab the uh, other entry. We only had two that month because we had the big, scary Sanctuary and Spectacle Island combo, which is always, uh, which is always a terrifying premise for folks because it's just so much ground to cover. And uh, you can grab those two City Plans on Nexus now. In addition, you can grab the, I believe it's 10, we had 10 valid entries for Plotapalooza, and we had a lot more folks get into it, and uh, those are all available for download now as well. But more importantly right now, there is a link below to go and vote for your favorite. We're changing up the voting structure that we generally use for city plan contests for the Plotapalooza to try something new, see how it works. And so we're going to start with a round of community voting. So if you want to get your thoughts out there and uh, vote for your favorites, the link is in the description. And uh, we are going to give out the uh, Community Choice Award from there, and then we'll proceed from there. So we will still later do a uh, video showcase of all of the entries, but we're starting out with, uh, with a, a voting based on what you guys witnessed yourself in the game. So uh, go ahead and join in on that. We'd love to uh, get that thing moving. Uh, I'm excited for it. It's really cool to see not only so many entries come into the contest, but also just that many new folks who had never put out a building plan now have done so and are now capable of. We had more people who were participating in the contest but didn't quite finish, and I know that some of them are still working on stuff. I've seen a lot of folks inspired by the new tools who are continuing to do stuff, so hopefully this will uh, this will spawn a, a new wave of building plans in the community. It's really, really cool to see. And shout out to Pra for putting together the script that made it all possible because I think one of the barriers to entry was learning the creation kit. And with the new scripts we have, you can do your design work in the game and then you just have to do some little technical bits inside the creation kit. So it's far less daunting than it used to be. So if you're interested in that, if you want to try your hand at making building plans for plots, there is a little guide in the description there. It was part of a live stream I did. It was about 45 minutes, and a lot of it is me talking. Um, but you can go from knowing nothing to getting a fully functioning building plan and, and probably just an evening sitting, maybe two days worth of uh, work total that will put that out into the community. You'll have uh, you'll have a building plan to share. And it's very addictive. Once you start going, you'll, you'll want to create more and more. So highly recommend checking that out. All right, beyond the Palooza plans, I think maybe Palooza sparked a couple of people and inspired them to do some porting because we have two add-on packs from SS1 that now exist in SS2, which is always cool to see. The first up is Bad Neighbors. This was originally released by Mr. Jose Cuervo and then inherited by Tunuvia, and it is now available for SS2. So this had a lot of uh, interesting... Uh, uh, buildings that were people that you wouldn't want to live next to necessarily so uh people who are like uh there's a, a slum lord for the homes and a church of adam you know with all the radiation and mole rat farms and all sorts of kind of everything being a little bit uh a little bit gross and perfect for the the end of the world so uh check out bad neighbors for some settlements too and then the other one, for those of you guys who uh, are into the culture, we've got Legalize the Commonwealth too. So this adds some, uh, some marijuana farming and sales uh, to the Commonwealth. This was available for uh, SS1 and is now available for SS2. So go check out both of those. All right, that covers the news for today. So, of course, now we've got to announce the next city plan choices. So your options for the April contest are... Coastal Cottage, 
Outpost Ammonia, and Kingsport Lighthouse. So we've got three to choose from, all kind of mid-size, so nothing too crazy. Need to give you guys a breather after uh, the daunting task of taking on Sanctuary or Spectacle. So Coastal Cottage, Outpost Ammonia, and Kingsport Lighthouse. Looking forward to see what you guys do. All right, guys, take care and enjoy the mods.